Hello, welcome to our channel again. It's Alm Education Central. Today we are going to discuss retelling and reenacting events from a story. This is a lesson for grade two, quarter three, on module five. Now let's start. How are we going to retell or reenact events? So let's see this passage. There's a direction here. Listen carefully as your facilitator reads the journal of Erica Fried, T. Urbana. Then answer the questions that follow. Write only the letter of the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper. The title of this story is all about My Unforgettable Recognition Day. Erica would be 38 this coming April 3. That day would also be the scheduled recognition day in her school. She was so excited because she would wear her school uniform and a new pair of shoes. While practicing on the stage with her fellow classmates, the principal called the attention of their teachers. They gathered around the school quadrangle. There would be no classes starting Monday, the principal suddenly announced. The principal added that they must stay at home to be safe. They felt sad and cried because they would miss their classmates and friends, their teachers, and the useful things they do in school. They would also not experience the proudly walk with their parents on the stage to receive their awards. So let's answer the questions. Who would turn 8 on April 3? A. Is it Hazel? B. Erica? C. John? D. May? What's your answer? That's right. It's Erica. Number 2. What would, be, what would be the event on April 3? A. Tree Planting Day B. Independence Day C. Intramurals Day or D. Recognition Day What is your answer? That's correct. It's a Recognition Day. Now let's proceed to number 3. What happened first in the story. A. Their principal announced the suspension of classes on Monday. B. Gathered around the school quadrangle after their teachers were called. Letter C. They were practicing on the stage when their teachers were called. Letter D. They got dismissed from school after the announcement. What do you think? That's right. It's letter C. They were practicing on the stage when their teachers were called. And the fourth one. What happened last in the story? Letter A. They cried because they would miss their classmates and teachers. Letter B. They were advised to stay at home to be safe as the classes were suspended. Letter C. They got dismissed from school and bid goodbye to their friends. And letter D, they gathered around the school quadrangle after practicing. What is your answer? The correct answer is letter A. They cried because they would miss their classmates and teachers. And the fifth one. Which of these statements below would best retell the unforgettable recognition day of Erica? Letter A. Erica and her classmates were happy because there would be no more classes. Letter B. Erica and her classmates felt sad because they would miss their school. Letter C. Erica and her classmates felt angry because they would not be able to wear their uniforms anymore. Or letter D. Erica and her classmates were excited to know that their recognition day would still continue 
despite the suspension? What is your answer? Which statement? It's letter B. Erica and her classmates felt sad because they would miss their school. So if you have answered those questions correctly, that will help you to retell or reenact the story that you have read. So what are the parts of this story? The parts of this story is the setting. Where is the story happened? Number two, the characters. Who are the person in the story? Number three, what is the problem? Is there a problem in the story? Event. What is the event in the story? And what is the main idea or the theme of the story? Now another here. Aside from knowing the parts of the story, another way of improving your reading comprehension skill is through retelling or reenacting the pieces of information mentioned in the story. So let's read again another story for mastery. Going to the clinic. Anthony went to Leo's birthday party yesterday. Anthony and his friends played the whole afternoon. The next day, he woke up feeling sick. He had colds. Anthony and his mother went to the clinic and consulted the doctor. The doctor told Anthony, getting colds could be avoided through frequently washing your hands and eating nutritious food. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. Stay away also from people who are sick, he added. Now let's answer these questions. Which of the following is true based on the story? Letter A, Anthony played in the rain and got sick. Letter B, Anthony had his own birthday party. Letter C, Anthony slept the whole afternoon. Or letter C, Anthony and his mother went to the clinic. So which one? Which is correct? The correct answer is letter D. Anthony and his mother went to the clinic. Next, which of the following happened first in the story? Letter A. Anthony went to the clinic together with his mother. B. Anthony attended Leo's birthday party. Letter C, Anthony woke up feeling sick. Or letter D, the doctor advised Anthony to wash his hands frequently. What do you think? Which of these statements happened first in the story that we have read? It's letter B, Anthony attended Leo's birthday party. So by answering the number one question and the second one question, you now understand and you can reenact or retell this story. On the second question, in number two, which of the following happened first in this story is already a question of sequencing. Means that you should know which from this story comes first, which of this story happened first, and the second, and so on. Now let's proceed. Retelling or reenacting a story is a strategy that can be used to determine your understanding of a story. So once you have heard a story and retell it or reenact it, meaning you understand the story fully. And this is also your ability to narrate the story again based on your own understanding. Noting the important details in the text is needed during retelling or reenacting. So you need to get the important details which I have discussed in my previous videos. Okay, let's take a look at this. Chloe went to Alingita's store. She was asked by her mother to get some bread, milk, and sugar. She paid the amount to Aling Nita. Finally, she put the items in her basket and went home. 
If you are going to observe the underlined words above show some of the important details you can find in the passage. So the underlined words are an important details that you should know. Let's take a look at this. During retelling or reenacting, it will also be useful to remember the order of the events. So as they happen in the story starting from the first to the last, you should understand it. The first, for example, Chloe went to Alinita's store. The second one, she was asked by her mother to get some food items. And finally, she put the items in her basket and went home. So you are now ordering the events from the first and to the last part. Okay, there is another passage from the story directions listen to the story that your facilitator will will read to you then answer the activity that follows so let's start this is written by mary ann talao lazaro it is entitled covid 19 what really is it monday i heard my father telling my mother that we would not come home starting that day because he would report to work as a doctor at Rural Health Clinic of San Narciso. Tuesday, I saw people panic buying foods in groceries and markets. Wednesday, people wear masks and gloves. They poured alcohols and sanitizers on their hands. Thursday, I observed that they practice social distancing at least one meter apart from each other and didn't talk that much. Friday, stores were closed. The tricycles, buses, jeepneys, and private cars were traveling around. What is happening? Why are people acting that way? I asked my mother. Our country experiences COVID-19 pandemic. A global health crisis caused by novel coronavirus, which make people around the world get sick and stop from work, mother answered. What should I do then? I asked. You better stay at home and, ho and follow the health precautions. Always wash your hands and make your immune system strong, she replied confidently. Now we are going to answer these co matching columns. So the, we will know the order of the event, the sequencing of the event, which comes first on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, take a look at this. What happened to Monday? Report to work as a doctor. What happened to Tuesday? There's already a panic buying in the market. What happened to Wednesday? Wearing masks, using alcohol, and wearing gloves. On Thursday, there should be only social distancing. And letter E. It's Friday. There are no trails, buses, and jeepneys. If you have answered this correctly, you know already the order or the sequence of the event, which will, which will help you to tell and reenact the story. Arrange the pictures in the correct order to form a story. Write only the letter of the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper, then retell the story you have formed. The letter A, she cooks the noodles in a boiling water. Letter B, then she washes her hands properly before cooking. Finally, she enjoys eating the delicious pancit. Letter E. First, lady goes to the store and buys pancit to cook. And letter D. Next, she puts some water in a pot to heat. Which do you think among these pictures comes first? Now let's study. It's letter, the first one will be letter D. First, Lily goes to the store and buys fancy to cook, which comes next. Then, 
She washes, she washes her hands properly before cooking. What happened next? Next, she puts some water in a pot to heat. And the fourth one, she cooks the noodles in a bowl. And the last one, finally, she enjoys eating the delicious pancit. So that is the sequence of the event. Remember, as we end parts of the story, is setting characters problem, events, and theme. By knowing all of this, you can retell and reenact a story. What else? Retelling and reenacting is a strategy that can be used to determine your understanding of a story. This is also your ability to narrate the story again based on your understanding. And noting the important details in the text is needed during the retelling and reenacting. Always remember, too, that sequencing is arranging in a particular order of events. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.